Okay, so since I have this cup painted pink that I painted to use for something else I didn't use it for, I went through my vinyls to decide if there was one I wanted to use this as a wrap for. And I picked this opal cellophane print from its Pretty Personals oopsie box I got. And I'm going to use this decal with it because this has the pastels pulled in it as well. So, um, I'm going to get this trimmed down. I want to use... Mm, I want to use more of this part of it. It does have a little crease in it, but I think it'll be all right. So for this one, I'm going to do the, um, the tape method of lining it up. If I can relocate my painter's tape, I'm going to get probably three pieces in this case. I think you've seen me do this, but I haven't really explained it. It's kind of what I would refer to as like a hinge method. But you dry fit wrap it so you're lined up perfectly. And I am lined up good top and bottom. And that is wrapped tight. And then you a little water on my table so then you tape it down on one side to hold it in place so then you open it up that piece didn't stay tight. I cut it too short, so I'm gonna start that again. I'm not gonna start it again, I'm gonna just double check. I'm gonna give it a good big piece here at the bottom. Okay. So, and then you get your vinyl started. And this stuff is very thick. I don't know what brand this um, completely white backing paper with the gray background on the vinyl is. I have no idea what they're printing on, but it is insanely thick. So, use your felt squeegee tool on all of your printed vinyls to protect them. And then you're just gonna, I'm gonna start my backer a little bit more. You should be able to just squeegee around the cup and um, your backer ought to just roll off naturally on its own doing it this method. And I just went over my tape because I always forget to pull my tapes up. But you can see I'm perfectly lined up on the bottom. And I'm lined up at the top. So I'm going to lift this back up and pull my pieces of tape. So that's a pretty big overlap, um, more than I would like. I'm going to get a good seal on the bottom here. I could have probably cut this just a tiny bit shorter. 
Okay. There's that little crease that was in the vinyl. Just see if I can smooth it out a little bit. But if not, this vinyl is like intentionally like crunk crinkled cellophane, so it really doesn't matter. So I can see where my overlap is. I'm gonna take my straight edge and my X-Acto knife. Because this is so thick, I don't want it big and bulky on my cup. And I am going to very carefully cut a straight line through, hopefully, both layers. Peeling off the top piece. And then we're going to lift the bottom because we're going for the other strip. So that's the second strip out and then burnish it back down with your squeegee. And then you have a perfect no overlap seam. So it's flat. I did a bunch of water slides earlier and my table is damp. My little cup holder is damp. So I'm gonna find my back seam again and set this down. And I'm gonna trim my decal down because I'm not going over epoxy. I want like as little of that edge showing as possible. Okay. And smooth it down. So the only thing I need to decide is if I want a pinstripe. And I think I do. So I'm going to grab my nail tape. And I want this almost black iridescent one. I'm going to start pretty close to my seam. Okay. So there we go, a simple one and done. We're gonna get this over to epoxy. I'm probably gonna put a little bit of a cheat in it of some sort. I haven't decided what I wanna use, if I wanna use a cheat or just a light sprinkle of some kind of glitter. So I'm gonna figure that out and get the epoxy ready. All right, so I am getting ready to get the resin on this one, and I decided that I want to do a little bit of my touch of violet, of course, because looking at it, what else would I use? So I'm going to put a little bit of my touch of violet diamond dust in some resin, and we'll get a coat on here. I don't really want to glitter glitter, so diamond dust it is. And just a tiny hint. So there we go. Yep, that's perfect. That is it. That little bit of sparkle is just what it needed. It's absolutely perfect. So, I'm pretty pleased. This vinyl is really pretty. I wouldn't have ordered it on my own, but um, yeah. 
I'm glad I got it, and I think it worked perfectly with this decal. So, that's it. Thank you for watching.